Hey gang, Scott Perry here, vintage blues guitarist and the creator of GotAGuitarLessons.com. I'm going to show you how to play the essential changes of a 12-bar dominant blues in the key of G using a single three-finger Freddie Green styled chord grip in what's called a four to the floor rhythm. Some of the cool features of the chord shapes I'm going to show you in this series is that first of all we're only going to be fretting notes on the sixth, fourth, and third string. The fifth and second string will be muted and we will not play the first string. And we'll also always have the third or seventh degree of the chord on the third and fourth string and the interior strings. Our sixth string will always be playing either the tonic or root note of the chord or the fifth degree of the chord. So let's go ahead and take a look at our first grip. I'm going to use my first three fingers. The finger choices that you use for any of these grips is largely a matter of personal preference, but you'll want to take into consideration the chord that you're going to next or any extensions or alterations that you want to add to the chord shape. In this case, my first three fingers are my dominant fingers. It's going to be the easiest set of fingers for me to, to play this one chord shape all the way through the dominant blues that I'm going to demonstrate. So my first fingers at the third fret of the sixth string, my second finger is at the third fret of the fourth string, and my third finger is at the fourth fret of the third string. I'm muting strings five and two, and when I play through those, I get a G7 sound. My major third is here on the third string, my minor seventh is here on the fourth string, my root note G is here on the sixth string. One of the other nice things about these chord shapes is that I can call out the fingering just by calling out the frets that I'm going to be fretting from the 6th string down, knowing that I'm always fretting the 6th, 4th, and 3rd string. I would call this a 3-3-4 three, three, grip. 3-3-4. Three, three, now to find my C7 chord, my 4 chord in the key of G, I'm simply going to locate the root note on the 6th string, and that happens to be here with my first finger at the 8th fret and I have what is called an 8-8-9 eight, eight, grip for my C7. And my 5 chord is 2 frets higher than my 4 chord and so it's located here in a 10-10-11 grip. So now that we have our grip and we have our location of the 1, 4, and 5 chord, let's talk about the 4 to the floor rhythm and play through our dominant blues in the key of G. In addition to pioneering the three note voicings that I'm showing you in this series, Freddie Green was also a master of the four to the floor rhythm, which was the heartbeat of the rhythm section in the big band era and in, in the Count Basie band that Freddie Green played with. So as the name implies, four to the floor simply means that we're playing four evenly timed or evenly pulsed quarter note strums, and we're going to accent the two and the four to create the backbeat. So with dead strings, it would sound like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now to further give uh, the, the sound of the four to the floor, we're going to play these in what I call a long, short rhythm. With my G7 grip, it's simply gonna look and sound like this. Long, short, long, short, long, short, so the long strum is just keeping my fingers down on the strings as I play through them. And the short strum involves lifting my fingers off the strings but not off the fretboard on the second and fourth strum. So the first and third are long, the second and fourth beats are short. Long, short, long, short, one, two, three, four. That gives a little bit more accent to the backbeat gives it that nice swing feel. Now that we have our chord grip and an understanding of the four to the floor rhythm, what we need is to know what the essential changes of a 12 bar dominant blues in the key of G are. So the blues frequently uses just the one, four, and five chord. And I think of the essential changes as being broken up into three four bar sections. The first four bars or measures are gonna be the one chord, G7. The second four bars are going to be made up of two bars of the four chord, C7, two bars of the one chord, G7. And the last four bars are going to be made up of two measures of the five chord, D7, and then two final bars of the one chord, G7. So let me demonstrate the uh, 12 bar dominant blues in a four to the floor rhythm in the key of G using this one Freddie Green grip. One, 